Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Sammy and this is Harley's Dollhouse. The video is a pastel fancy creature doll collab hosted by H. Ollie Crafts that I have joined. And the other artists that joined in are Huda Dolls, Claw Dolls Art, Susika, and Sky the Golden. And make sure you go check out everyone else's video. I will leave the links down below in the description. Everybody's doll turned out super amazing. So for my pastel fancy creature doll, I based mine off of an axolotl. I've been wanting to make an axolotl doll for the longest time. I think they are just such adorable little peculiar little critters. And I thought it'd be a really cute idea to make one into like a mermaid. To me, it sounded like a good idea for a mermaid doll. Also, in one of the comments from my last video, someone mentioned that my burn gals kind of remind them of like a mantee or dugongs or stuff like that. So I have an idea of wanting to make a mermaid that is a manatee. I thought that'd be really, really adorable. Uh, if you guys would like that idea, let me know. I think this would be this doll right here would be the perfect base. For the girl from the Wild Hearts crew. Just let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And now let's get started with the axolotl doll. So off camera, I rebooted her with Posey, Fruit Ghibli, and Powder Puff, all from Shimmerlocks. I will leave the link to her store down below. I thought the color combination would be really pretty for a Oxalot mermaid. Also, the doll I'm using is Draculaar from the Haunted Line. I picked her um, because she has like the pa the plastic's like see-through-ish. Uh, I thought it'd be really good for an Oxalot. They seem kind of like see-through-ish, especially like little pink ones. And since my doll was in perfectly good to condition, uh, let's go ahead and break her legs. Since she's a mermaid, she doesn't need legs, it's fine. So since she's not a create your own monster, like the one I used last time for my shark, uh, so she, there's no peg there where her legs are at, just these little joint pieces. Um, so I am going to dremel out a hole here where her legs were at, and my husband modeled a like ball peg piece, kind of like similar to the create your own monsters one. Unfortunately, later on I had to dig it out because the resin one was very fragile and we had he uh printed me out one on the filament printer instead which is a little more durable but to put it in place i had to use a little bit of super glue and then it was good And when we're ready to go string her up, the piece should be able to slide onto the ball joints. And finally, now we can work on her face. After spraying her with a layer of Mr. Super Clear, uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, first off, I am going to use a light pink shade to shade around her eyes and her cheeks and nose. And sketching out her eye shapes, I am just going to use a pink pencil.
And before drawing and filling in the irises, I personally like to fill in the white part of the eye first. That way it helps make, to me it makes the eyes look brighter when you do that. And with a q-tip, I'm using some pink pastel to give her some stubby brows. And with a magenta shade, I am using the q-tip to darken the outer corners of the eyes and fading it out to the inner corner. And once I'm happy with the shape of her eyes, on the next layer, I am using a brown pencil to darken up the lines around her eyes. And moving on to her eye color, uh, I decided to do one brown eye and one blue eye. I thought it'd be an interesting look and I haven't done something like that in quite some time. I think the last time I did that was for a Sally inspired doll. So I thought it'd be really cool to do that on a mermaid oxalotl, just a little something different. And with my black pencil, I'm going in and adding in her lashes. I think this is the tiniest I've ever done the lashes, and I'm pretty proud of myself because they look so delicate.
And once I have the lashes where I like them, with a tiniest bit of black pastel, I'm using a Q-tip to kind of dab some around her eyelashes, and then using a brush to smoke it out. And going back in with my white charcoal pencil, I'm just adding some highlights here and there around the eyes. So personally, I think the cutest oxalotls are the ones that have the little speckles on their faces. So I thought that would be really cute to kind of do that to her as well. And make little speckles on her face and her body. And I'm just going to add a little bit more blush over her speckles and her face will be done. So for her outfit, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Uh, so. Glitter was the option, and she got a glitter bodysuit. I feel like that's good for a mermaid. Here are some pieces out for her tail and um, her headband, which it looks like the oxalotl gills that they have on the side of the head. And these are the little fins that we're just going to glue on the tail. I am going to paint the pieces with this iridescent um, magenta paint I found at Michael's. It's really pretty, but it does take about a uh, three or so coats, at least for this, maybe because the pieces were transparent, I'm assuming, to actually show up. And now on to stringing the tail. I hand drilled a eye pin into the top of the fin here and we're just going to string the pieces from smallest to largest, much like the shark tail.
And here's how the tail looks all strung up. I have a disc piece in the bottom there of the hip joint and I tied the elastic to it really tightly and it's good to go and we can snap it onto the doll. And voila, now she's a mermaid. And lastly, I'm just going to super glue the fins to her tail and add a little bit of glitter around them. Now on to showing the finished dolls. And now for the big reveal. Everyone's doll turned out super amazing and I'm so glad I got to work alongside with these talented artists. So make sure you go check out their videos, the links will be down below. And what do you guys think about my mermaid oxalow? Let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you would like me to make the manatee doll later on in the future. And out of curiosity, what's your guys' favorite animal? I would love to know. And as always, thank you for your love and support for my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And also, it would help me out a lot if you guys also shared my videos as well. And if you're new here, make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I will have a new video up. Alright guys, I will see you next time. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye!